pizza. So you can have pepperoni pizza, sausage. Another day they have turkey, they have sausage, roasted chicken, buttermilk biscuit as well. Like these are all options that they can have on other days. But let's go back to that quote that said 45% of those children are obese. Now, hey, welcome to uh, the Green Regimen Daily News Channel. I'm your host, Tyshawn Bryant, here to give you the latest on plant-based news. Now, so here's the deal. I received some messages from a few customers just asking me, you know, what I thought about the New York City mayor's new initiation. So I'm, I live in Los Angeles. I don't know what's going on in New York. So um, I happened to open an article and it was actually pretty cool. So it says here, and this is from uh, thegreenqueen.com. So New York City plant-based mayor, so they call him the plant-based mayor, initiates vegan Fridays at all New York City public schools. So I said, okay, that actually sounds good. So let me read you a quote from what this article is saying. And here it says, okay, vegan Fridays will be a permanent change to school menus designed to expose the 930,000 public school children to healthy meals. I mean, that definitely sounds good to me. I mean, you know, you know, I'm a, a big plant-based guy and I don't see anything uh, wrong with that. And it's only one day, uh, according to the article. Um, so, you know, but let me read another quote. Uh, let's see. Uh, this is a quote from Eric Adams, you know, the plant-based mayor himself. He says, plant-based options at school mean a healthy diet and a healthy lifestyle and a healthier quality for thousands of New York City students. I mean, it sounds good to me. So, yeah, it's definitely a, um, a pro plant-based article. It just pretty much goes on to say that the kids, you know, Monday through Thursday will have their, their regularly scheduled meals. But on Friday, they'll have a choice, fruits and vegetables and all plant-based options. Sounds good to me, you know. So I read the article. I'm like, that's great. But of course, you know, with anything out there, there's always going to be an opposite side, an opposing force that's not going to be excited or happy about it. So I did come across this one article. Let's see here. This article is from the NewYorkDailyNews.com. So the title of this article is Vegan Fridays Are Nutritionally Risky. Okay, so I'm um, just curious. What, what makes it so nutritionally risky? Well, um, let me read a quote from this article. And, you know, I do think it's always good to hear opposing sides because sometimes when you're too much on your side, you know, there are some, there are some counterpoints that the other side might have that might be somewhat interesting and might have you look at things in a different way. Uh, light. So I always like to look at the opposite side. So a quote here says, the mayor's regimen of fruits and vegetables seems to keep him in good health. The dietary needs of an adult man, however, are different from those of a child and whose brains and bodies are still growing. I get that. Absolutely. So of course you have children, you know, um, you obviously want the child to be on a balanced diet, of course, you know, 365 days of the year so you wouldn't feed your children the exact same thing a grown man according to this article and that makes sense every day for every meal that I get it 100% let's uh, let's read another article uh, another quote from the article a recent estimate found that 45% of children aged 5 to 11 are obese and 35% of youths under the age of 20 are diabetic yeah, those are those are definitely staggering statistics, right? Um, not sure why those stats are in this article, though, because this, this article would be countering a vegan meal. And we're only saying one one day a week, right? But now when it comes to, let's say, diabetes, it sounds like they're somewhat equating fruits and vegetables and the sugar and fruits and vegetables to to diabetes. And, you know, I know you know, a plethora of diabetics out there who have, you know, been able to overcome such an ailment by eating fruits and vegetables as opposed to the high starchy and um, really, really sugary, table sugary foods um, that usually causes diabetes to begin with. When I look at this article, I read that. I read the article very, very um, objectively. And it sounds like they're more against this notion of maybe an agenda uh, that Eric Adams has, you know, because he's plant-based. I mean, you know, he's not even vegan, actually. I, I believe he eats he eats uh, fish, perhaps, um, but he has a very, very high plant-based diet, and I think that's fantastic, you know? So 
but I guess, you know, plant-based mayor, you know, and, and again, I live in Los Angeles, so I don't really care who the mayor is, right? But in terms of, you know, when I'm reading articles like this, and I think it's really important for you to, to look at the source, you know, of, of whatever you're reading or whomever is giving you information. You know, I, I understand, you know, different sources have agendas, right? And you know my stance on it. Um, the biggest, I used to be the biggest meat eater you ever knew. But, you know, I've made an adjustment to now 100% plant-based, and it does work for me. Not the easiest diet, but when it comes to me reading certain quotes on how, you know, you, you know, a lot of people who are vegan or who are, are 100% plant-based are, you know, void of nutrients. I mean, yes, void of some nutrients, but you can supplement with a lot of the nutrients, right? Or with a lot of the, you can supplement for a lot of the missing nutrients and vitamins. And there really aren't that many. I mean, you know, when I taken my blood test after a few years of being 100% plant-based or vegan, it was really like my lowest uh, numbers were vitamin B12, right? Which a lot of us, even meat eaters, are, are low on B12. So outside of that, I know some people have iron issues, but that can, you know, that that doesn't rest, really just, you know, depend on if you're vegan or not. So for the most part, yes, the plant-based lifestyle doesn't have the exact amount of nutrients, you know, that let's say, you know, uh, a steak has, but it also doesn't have all, all of the illnesses and the and the cholesterol and, and all of that as well. So when it comes to a plant-based lifestyle, you can most definitely live an optimal life doing so. You just have to be strategic about it. Um, you don't just eat a bunch of foods just because it says that it's plant-based. I mean, actually look at the look at the label. You know, this stuff makes sense. But I also looked at the menu of the New York City public school system because I was just curious. I'm like, you know, well, what are they eating on the other days? Because these people are so upset, you know, that this one day, this one lunch is going to be vegan. So, you know, like, so let's say on an average Thursday, they're having bite-sized beef tacos and on a crispy tortilla. And, you know, yeah, which is great. They're having apples as well. Let's look at another day. Pizza. So you can have pepperoni pizza, sausage. Another day they have turkey, they have sausage, roasted chicken, buttermilk biscuit as well. Like these are all options that they can have on other days. But let's go back to that quote that said 45% of those children are obese. Now, do you think that those children are eating a vegan diet or are they eating, you already know where I'm going with this. So yeah, it's, um, it's very interesting that people are upset, but again, I always say that, you know, that you're always going to have counter arguments, you know, and that's just basically how it works. But I did find it very interesting, but you know what? Oh, by the way, please like this video, please subscribe because I want to do more of this and it'd be nice if I know that you actually pay attention to these videos and you like these videos, I'll, I'll do more of these segments. Um, but you know, I would like to turn the questions on you. I'm just curious, you know, specifically you parents out there, you parents who are busy and you have kids and you know, you obviously want the best for your kids. You want the kids to have the, the best nutrients that uh, possible, right? I, I really do think having a plant-based Friday is great because that Saturday and Sunday, who knows what the kids are going to eat. They might be at events where they have to eat hot dogs and hamburgers and all of that stuff. So, I mean, if they can go into the weekend on a very, very nice, you know, healthy diet, I think that's, that sounds great. But my question to you parents, what do you think about this? Do you feel, because if you don't live in New York, you live somewhere else, you live in, you know, Wichita, Kansas, or wherever you live, Connecticut even, you know this is coming to your school district as well. It's just what it is. You know it's going to come. So tell me how you feel about this, you know. Um, do you care that it's, you know, going to come to other states at some point? Do you think that it is? Do you even, or are you against, there's another question, are you against your school system telling your kids and telling you that they have to have one plant-based day. I mean, I'm, that'd be interesting if you did care about that because, you know, they're also telling you that you have to have non-plant-based days, you know, but I'm just curious. I just want to know, just curious on what you think. Um, leave a comment. Let me know. DM us. You know, I'm just, I'm just really curious about that because it starts in New York and you know how things work. You know, they kind of pilot, you know, certain, um, certain programs in one place and then it just spreads. I personally do feel as long as they keep the vegan Friday is healthy because, again, not all vegan food is healthy. But as long as they keep it healthy, it's one meal. I don't see anything wrong with that. And if you parents really do care, then just pack, you know, whatever, you know, non-plant-based meal that you want for your kids. But I don't know. I, I think this is uh, definitely a step in the right direction, a step to decrease child obesity because we know obese children grow up to be obese adults. 
That's what we're trying to avoid here. So thank you for watching. Make sure again, you like this video, subscribe it, subscribe to the channel. See you next time.